Good morning everyone. Welcome to Grace Hollow Rabbitry. I am PJ. I am located in Northwest Arkansas and today I'm running a special little errand. I have been working with a family from town for a few weeks now. Uh, their son is a special needs person, a very, very special fe fella. He has a seizure disorder and um, he is very much interested in rabbits. So I educated uh, him and his family. Uh, I mainly talked to the mother about rabbits, how to care for rabbits, and how to raise rabbits, and uh, how to obtain rabbits. Uh, they, they studied, uh, took several weeks. They studied and they read up, and they knew they wanted um, a child-friendly rabbit and he looked through pictures and they talked about standards and he chose uh, American Blue. Uh, he didn't want the whites because uh, the whites are a little creepy he said uh, but he wanted the American Blue. Uh, so I uh, talked to some friends and checked around and I was able to find him some Blue Americans. So they have their cages and feed and water and hay and uh, they even have toys and even have names picked out for these rabbits. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, the young fella can't uh, take long car rides. Uh, the lights flickering through the trees uh, onsets a uh, seizure. Uh, so I am going to take a little drive, uh, actually a long drive. I'm picking up a doe, maybe two, uh, towards the central of the state. And then the buck that I had picked out was actually all the way over on the east side of the state, but unfortunately they found out that he had malocclusion. And so at the last minute I was scampering around uh, to find a blue uh, American buck, uh, which I was able to do. And that's not too far, uh, that's actually uh, back to the west. Uh, on the Oklahoma border. So today I'm going to make a big circle and do a little visiting, pick up some rabbits, and late this evening, uh, about dinner time, I'm going to be delivering these rabbits to that special young man. And I want to take you along with me. So let's We've go already for get the carriers ride. prepared. We got clean cups and we got uh, clean liners. And so we have a clean environment for the rabbits. I'm just going to go ahead and pick these up and uh, load them into the van Yes, my van is very dirty. I live uh, 18 miles from town. I live on a dirt road and so I can't go anywhere without getting dust on my van.
close. Right, so here we are. We got David with Isaac's new little blue American doe. Oh, he's going to like her. Is she grumbling? She's a grumbling. Oh, she's grumbling. She's a grumbling. Oh. And I left my carriers in the van. And David's got a nice little setup, the red, white, and blue. What do you have? Blue and white Americans and yeah. red New Zealands, red right? New yeah. Cool. That's okay, yeah, a nice it. setup. Clean my pages. <laughs> well, that's a daily thing. It just been yeah. too. There's the road that goes to local groups. We've uh, picked up the blue American doe. He only had one. He had hoped to have two, but he didn't. He only had one available. And so we're, we've left his place and we're headed back uh, to West uh, Arkansas. We're about four hours away from the blue buck that I'm going to pick up. We're going back through Mountain View. and it, if you're unfamiliar, uh, Mountain View is the folk music capital, uh, and so there's a lot of folk music here too. There's some theaters. Now here recently when we were on vacation here, uh, we actually stayed on the small uh, community called Prem that's uh, south of town a little bit, uh, but uh, we did come up into Mountain View and we went to the Jimmy Driftwood Folk Theater. And oh my, I had such a good time. And I, I think Daddy J did too. Uh, and of course we hung out with uh, David and his wife uh, and had a real good time that night. We had dinner and went to the theater and just had a real good time. I really do look forward to coming back to Mountain View maybe for another vacation sometime soon uh, so that uh, I can see more of the antique and craft stores uh, that they have. A 
third of the way back. I'm going to stop off here in just a few minutes to have some lunch. Real beautiful countryside through here. Wet or not, it's still beautiful. Alright, so it's still raining a little bit and I just arrived at this Ferguson's uh, country store and restaurant that I've been uh, wanting to stop at. So let's go ahead and go in and check this place out. circle we are coming back into Huntsville after about two hours of driving in the rain I finally got behind it and uh, out of the rain for the moment although it looks like there could be more ahead uh, once we arrive in Huntsville we would turn south to go back to Grace Hollow uh, but I still need to pick up the buck so we're in the continue west for about another hour and I'll pick up the buck and then we'll turn around and come back. Alright guys, it's getting late, uh, got chores to do. I don't mind telling you, uh, Isaac, the young man, um, started sharing his uh, survival stories, some obstacles that he had survived, and his salvation story, and some stories of how God worked miracles in his life. And I don't mind telling you, I got a little emotional and I had to cut the t camera off. Uh, I really needed to pay attention to him and give him and his mother my undivided attention. And I couldn't do that with a camera in his face. So, uh, yes, I turned the camera off. Uh, but I'll show you a little bit of footage that I did get uh, before... I got too emotional. Hey, thanks for watching, and until we speak again, God bless. Hi, Hoshi. Hi. We've got Isaac and his parents. We've delivered the bunnies, and I think he's happy. <laughs> <laughs> He's named the little doe girl Hershey, and the little buck was, um, it's oh, I forgot. It's going to be Sage. Oh, Sage, you changed yeah. it. Well, see, that was when we was going to get to, uh... Oh, the uh, white one? Yeah, when we was going to get the, uh, um, yeah. both, uh, both does. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, uh, Scott was going to name it Stuart. Yes, yeah, Stuart, that was the well, name I knew, know, yeah. It's all, uh, no. It's not Stuart. not Stuart Sage. No, it's gonna be Sage. All right, he's mine. <laughs> and he he's 
Uh, I watched Jamie flip him on his back and trim his toenail, so he's pretty tame. Well, where did this one come from? What, Springdale. It came from Springdale? Yep, yep. I did. Where in Springdale? Um, Springdale. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what was around it? Um, it? It was on the, what is that, north, northeast side of Springdale. How does he need to pick her up? Oh. Just, I pick them up by the ribs on the sides with two hands. Two hands, two hands. Both hands. Both hands. Mm -hmm. Let me slide so you can get to it a little better. There, here, here. there you go. Okay, keep it There you go. Put your hands like a baby. Like a baby. There. Mm -hmm. I'm say he might get scared that way. They like a foundation yeah, like under their feet. Yeah, I like to kind of set up like you do. Like a football. There you go. Alrighty, and I'll show you how I pick them up. Yeah. I was Pay attention. Pay attention. I'm trying to be gentle. Yep. Mm -hmm. You need a firm grip so that they don't jump. Now I, I pick them up this to... way, and then I turn them. I put their head in my arm. What that does is blind them so that they can't see the ground beneath them. Because if they see that ground move, they get nervous. Yeah, you get picked up above the ground, you and get nervous. And then I put them in butt first, just like that. Ah, so calm. <laughs> Alright, so you have to operate this little latch. And you're going to be sleeping out here tonight? 